Travelling to North London, Spiral explore what else may reside among the vintage vehicles of Whitewebb's Museum of Transport. White Webb Museum in Enfield is a fascinating transport museum located in a former red brick Victorian pumping station. The museum is home to an impressive collection of old vehicles, including fire engines, motorbikes, vintage delivery vans, classic cars and a model railway. But among the displays of a bygone era, what else apparently lurks here? Reports of alleged paranormal phenomena have been reported and if so, are the spirits linked to the building or to some of the vehicles themselves? Okay, here we are at the White Webb Museum in Enfield. Fantastic museum full of old cars, bikes. Um, we've come here for an paranormal investigation. Apparently a lot of uh, uh, phenomena has been reported here. So we're going to come in. Uh, Alan's already picking up uh, a gentleman down in the well area. So we're going to try a couple of vigils, send the girls off on their own, send the guides off on their own and see what we come out with. So I uh, hope you'll join us for the night. We're here at White Webb's Museum and we're having a really good time looking at all the vehicles, all the cars, the bikes. I just want to see that scooter that we... I've seen on the website, the Vespa, that looks like Asus scooter in the, on the Quadrophenia, that's what I want to see. With the team consisting of myself, Al, Patricia, Annalisa, medium Alan Barnett, guests Trinity and Paul, and museum liaison Malcolm Brown, we take a walk round of the building, beginning on the top floor. You're sort of hoping that something's going to have an impact on you, and <coughs> walking through at the moment, there's like a faint echo on the floor down there, but up here, it's like I can actually feel something. Something's touching, you yeah? know? But it's not around there, it's down this side. We head downstairs to the basement, a place reputed to hold much unexplained activity. Well, it's about 200 feet there. Oh my God. To the water, but I don't know how deep the water is. Obviously, it varies yeah, a bit, yeah, yeah. it's raining a lot on that. So, so the water level comes up and down, does it? A little bit, but you wouldn't notice it's too far down. Yeah. We someone threw someone down. Um, throw something. <laughs> <laughs> throw someone. Saying it's like he's walking around, he's doing this. He's sort of, you know, and, and backwards and forwards and up and down and looking and, and I don't know. I just can't quite get it. But it's, it's like this frustration with him, you know. We walk across the courtyard to the adjoining building which houses a vintage green goddess. I'm saying, since we come in here, I get drawn over here, and it's the objects again. It's one of these bikes. I actually feel like at one time, this had something to do with the military one of these. I'm getting drawn towards this one. And I feel that someone died on one of these. And I think it's that one. It, it was one of these two, but I think it's this one. We decided to set up the monitoring equipment back in the basement. Yeah. Okay, we to set up the laptop. Um, we're going to pop the mic, pump up the game, and see if we can get any possible EVP. The problem with EVP though is you need to really analyse it closely because a lot of it is just garbled noise, and a lot of people can actually make sentences out of stuff that's not really there. So they really need to be really, really careful. So um, we'll see. You know, we'll record it. We'll see what happens. So have the <laughs> the only view, I'll, one camera at a time. I really get the impression we're up and down here. Mm. You know? And it's like he's pacing up and down here, and that's why I say you need to cover across this, across the room towards this side. Right, okay. Okay. Alan, it needs, yeah. to, go to, it needs to go to the left a bit. I mean, yeah, one by It needs to go that way. 
to uh, shall I need to know that one? That's just a bit. That thing right, is got a pretty clear picture though, isn't it? I'm going to go to infrared. Where the uh, Jimmy was. I've got this set up down in the uh, well area. Um, who knows? Hopefully you might pick up something. Just put two infrared cameras up, wireless cameras. One over this side of the room and one over the other side of the room. And I've got the laptop just to set up as well for possible laptop EVP. Yeah. Uh, there's a good mic on there. Um, crank up the game and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> DVR and audio equipment all set up, we start the main investigation back on the top floor. We're on the top floor in the Transport Museum, uh, first vigil of the night. We've got the camera set up down in the basement by the well. Uh, see what happens, see what Alan picks up on, we'll see if we can uh, coach anything out. Can you make yourself known, please? Tap, touch somebody, do something. Anyone here like to come and talk to us? Please come and communicate through us, through Alan, who's sitting down. Very much like to meet you. We head down to the next level, although surprisingly, I was stopped in my tracks on the stairway. Just as I've come down the stairs, there's two taps, like two steps on the stairs at the top. Everyone's in there though. Did anyone make a tapping sound just now? It's probably nothing, just as I was coming down the stairs, I heard, I heard a... one up there earlier. Yeah, you heard it as well, yeah, but it was actually on the stairs, as I was coming down the bottom. Probably nothing, but I just, he was quite, he was quite, like, like two, uh, on, on the stair. Yeah, but you can hear your own footsteps, because yeah. I've done it earlier. But I was actually at the bottom, and actually off the stairs. Oh, okay. I'm not saying paranormal, it was just no. odd. Because I couldn't see you, and then I looked at the photo, that's filthy. That's <laughs> not very professional. Not very professional, is it? Think? Make some sort of noise. If you're connected with the items that are here, can you tap the item? Do anything, just make yourself known. Or make a sound. The team move on, entering the canteen area and adjoining rooms. Just had a whistling in there. I don't know if it was me or if it was a car outside, but I was over by the uh, Concord exhibition. And it was like over in that corner. Yeah. But is that the front of the building? We decided this would be a good area to try some good old fashioned glasswork, a communication practice that we've been critical of in the past. Doing a bit of glass work here, folks. Just twist it. Twist it. Twisty, turny thing. I'm put fingers that way round. <coughs> Does anyone here? Could you please give us a sign, like move the glass or? It's <laughs> 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 not me. It's yes. oh, coming. He's a beaver. Hey, they're it's moving. Hey, yeah. That was quick. That's you, isn't it? No, whoa. Well, we've got a hand stick. Right, put, put, put it back in the end and just see if you can. No, right. Can you move it back to the middle then, please? If, if there's someone. Around. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow, okay. <coughs> That's interesting. It's one you want to ask him because apparently he seems to like. You the keep, girls. keep it going, girls. Keep it going. <gasps> right, come. Okay, keep, keep it cool. Could you please move the glass if you want the girls to talk to you? Okay. And that was a definite yes. Can you move it back to the centre of the table, ask? Mm. You'll have to ask, he seems to be responding to you, doesn't he? Mm. The girl. Okay. Are you a man? That's why I'm watching you, Um... Are you here on your own? Oh, of course. Sorry about that. Are you the man from the well room? Nice to meet you. Are you a young man? 
It might be a different Sarah that he was young when he passed. Mm. Are you in your 20s? Okay. Do you mind us talking to you? Thank you. Can you move the glass back to the middle, please? Thank you. Are you the man that died during the construction of the well? No. Okay. Did you die on one of the vehicles here? Good question. Yes. Is that yes? Alan says something about a motorbike downstairs. Can you show me where you're standing now, please? Alan says something about a motorbike. Somebody died on one of the Can you take the glass to where you're standing now? Yeah. I can feel someone here asking, is that you that I can feel next to me? Yeah. Did you die on two wheels? <coughs> Are the two wheels here? What's that? Yeah, do you What's the noise? Was over there. Yeah, was over there. Do you know something you learn is that once you get one Black. round, you're starting to respond a little bit. Some the others sometimes come in. Yeah, they come, come in. in. Yeah, they do. They come <coughs> in. Oh, were you riding the bike for pleasure? Yeah. <coughs> so it wasn't connected no. like, even with, with yeah. work. Mm. Are there more of you here now? <laughs> is there two of you? Is there more than two here? Don't mind answering questions from me and you. Are you still with us, please? Thank you. Is there someone standing in the doorway to the right? Over there. Is there someone standing in the doorway to the right? Yeah. Yeah. We said more before. More. Didn't we? more. Three. Are all five of those spirits connected with items? that are housed in this building. No. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> are, they, are you all male or is there females in here too? Are, are there any women here? Yes. Oh, yes, there's women. Hello. Do you like us being here? Well, we like talking to you. It's a different, let's see, feel it. This is really, oh, this isn't very smooth, Alan. This is really, off. feel the middle. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't uh, just try that tablecloth as it was. Right. It looked very slippery, table. didn't it? Mm. Is your name Rose? Hello, Hello Rose. <laughs> oh, Rose is quite nice, isn't she? No, Rosie. <laughs> yeah, but she's alive. Are you yeah, connected to one of us? Mm, that's quite definite, isn't it? <coughs> Are you connected? Oops, sorry. Back to one again. Ask if. Uh, Are you connected to the building here? Yeah. 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 Are, are you aware that Alan, sitting next to me here, who I'm touching now, that he can communicate with you? Are you aware of that? Yeah. Thank you. How old are you, Rose? Mm. Oh. Uh, behind you. Can't see that. Behind you. That wasn't. That was over there. Yeah, no, it's behind, behind you. Behind you, Al. Behind you. Yeah, I would say. There's something behind you. Yes. Was that you, Rose? Yes. Yes. Rose. Over there it was. Well, we've got a three. Is it thirty something? Thirty or thirty-four? She's thirty-four. Thirty-four. Rose, are you standing next to me? Yes. Yes. Will you show yourself to us, Rose? That's fair enough. That's completely up to you. Are there more people with you in the room? Other spirits? Thank you. How many other spirits are there in the room? One. Just one other spirit. Well, the other gone for tea. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. Stops for tea. Yeah. Yeah. They're all on union time. <laughs> Imagine they're very British, you know. <laughs> oh, sorry. Rose, were you a tea lady? Oh, no, oh, short oh. like that. <laughs> I think she found that quite insulting. <laughs> Can you spell your surname out for us, please, Rose? Good one. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. I. King. N. Rose King. I'll let her finish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Rose. Give us Can a laugh. Continue, please, Rose. K I N. Maybe that was it. K I N. Kin. Is that it? No. 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 Oops, sorry. Rose King. King. Is your name King. Rose King? Yeah. Rose King. Let, I'll let us be spell it out. First Is your name, name and then Rose second, King. Second name. <clears throat> oh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Rose <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a question? No, thank you. Were you here before this building was here? Yes. So before 1898, is it or something? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you live here before this building was here? So you lived in a building here on this site before this was here. Thank you, Rose. So, that's taken away the confusion about yeah, whether it's, it's yeah, uh, something right. in here or this. Yeah, it's probably mm. something. The benefit of <coughs> viewers watching and saying everyone's nails are very lightly on the glass. Cream mine especially. Yeah. Rose, can you tell us the year that you died using the numbers? Please. Thank you. Two, one. one. Thank you. Seven. 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 Seventeen. Six. Is that nine, nine or zero? Seventeen sixty nine. Yeah. You should be writing this down. <laughs> 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 oh, you got it on camera. Yeah. Okay. Seventeen sixty nine is good. It's on something that was here before this place was built. So what was this building here then? How long did? Eighteen hundreds. Yeah, late, very late eighteen hundreds. Oh, right. Are you aware, Rose? Are you aware what year it is here, where we are today? Do you know what year it is? Can you tell us what year it is now? Oh, that's a bit. Two. 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 Just going for a wonder. One. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rose. What's that? Oh, That's that whistle. Was it only a few two? Was it? Whistling. No, no, no. I heard that. I got it on camera. Getting noises. People are thinking noises are coming from different places. No, but it's but coming from over there, that was. That, that, that was, it was literally yeah. behind the counter. It was yeah. over there. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I heard it over there. And it yeah. was Beyond when we were, you know when you're not listening, when you're not listening out for something. Yeah. That's when things happen. And you're laughing. That's when they come in, don't they? they come in. Are you still with us? You're just so excited about hearing yeah, something. Yes. Here we go, thank you. Hello, Rose. Is that you, Rose? Give a chance to move around and she can go back. Jay. If that's you, Rose, can you go to. Oh, is, it, is this somebody moving. else? Oh, they all want to speak to us tonight. You know? <laughs> can you spell your name for us, please? All right. T. Thank you. O. Oh, thank you. Tom? Oh, yes, Tom. Tom. Tom, it's oh, nice Tom. to meet you. Is Tom. your name Tom? Just to confirm that. Is your name Tom? Yes, it was oh, the one Tom. who was doing the whistling. Was it you that was whistling? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Tom, can you do it again for us, please? Just to show that it was you. Can you do it again, please? This last mm. we was you the gentleman here <coughs> earlier? <coughs> Oh, yes, it is. Are you the gentleman who was with us that died on two wheels? Is that yes? Yeah. Thank you. Have to Thank you for coming back in. Yeah. Thank you for bringing Rose in to talk to us. Have we got any more? Can you tell us how old you were, Tom? 
And he died. And you passed. He died, he's fine. He's all self righteous three. crap, scared no, to say one, dying. Two. No, three. Was it? Four. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Thirty-four, is that right, Tom? Thank you. <coughs> Rose upset with us, is that why she went? No. Oh, no. No problem. Okay. Oh, good. Is it because we got carried away? <laughs> Are there any other spirits in the room with us now besides you and Rose? We decided to take a short break to reflect on what had been happening. Uh, when you see a depiction on film, shall we say, it's all solemn. Say that yeah. there's anybody there. Oh, we are you anyway. <laughs> but you just seem to be having a chat, you know, how you rose and... Uh, she was 34, right? I can't remember. 34, no, we, th he was 34. Oh. He was. She was 34 as well. We was got she? 34 from that, oh, yeah. Right. Well, well, what would be fascinating <laughs> for me if I was sort of around this area oh, would be to look at old maps exactly. and see if there was a building or a cottage here before this was built. So I'm too sure what was here before. No, I'm just saying, because according to that that we were getting, she lived in a cottage or building here on the site. There's no reason why they're dead. Well, we've got some old maps of the area before this place was built. Which generally is a bit of interest now, doesn't it? Well, that, yeah, gives you something to look at. See. And then if they... you can find a cottage, if you can get into any local records with that, you might get a name as well. And the, and, and the name matches up. Was it farm cottages then? Well, I would have probably thought that anything around here is probably a farm. It would yeah. be a farm of some yeah. description. Farmhouse or I farm cottages. I would have thought cottages, so, something yeah. like that, yeah. We resumed the communication back in the canteen area to see if any more information would come through. Right. Any spirits around us that were communicating with us a while ago, can you come back in to the centre of this table <coughs> and talk to us? Tom, Rose, or anyone else, can you come in, please? I've just sort of had a... Was you tapping your feet, Mark, or just a minute ago? I really feel that there's someone behind me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, just standing right behind you? Yeah, quite close behind me. There's a table. But... Please, anyone around us, anyone who's been close to us, communicating with us, Rose, Tom, any other spirits, come in close, come into the centre of this table, use our combined energies. Tap on this table, or move the glass in the centre of the table. Make a sound. I, I, oh, I think I know. I kill. What? I kill. You kill who? I K I L L. It is done. Who did you kill? Did you kill somebody? Can you move it to yes or no, please? For the sake of the camera, well, if only I'm now slightly on the on the glass. <coughs> I take it that's moving towards yes. <coughs> Could you spell the first name of the person, please? It's still moving. And then next, we want to identify the killer. Yeah. Oh, God. L A W. L A W. Law. Lawrence. Is the name Lawrence? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. What year did you kill them? One. Seventeen. Come on, what year, please? Come on, you're doing really well. Thank you or something. <coughs> 17. Yeah, 1 7. That's right. 17. 1708. Oh. Is, is that cor correct? Is that correct? 1708. Thank you. All right. Was this to do with this house or building that stood on this site before this was built? Did you have something to do with this building that stood here beforehand? No. No. Thank you. You did. Right. Did were you caught for the murder? 
I'd just like to thank yeah. any of you that's still in this room with us for coming in and talking to us. Thank you. James, Rose, Tom and any of the others, thank you. And if there's any of you that can follow us down to the well room and communicate with us. We continued to investigate into the early hours, but with little else happening, we decided to call it a night. Our investigation at Whitebird's Museum of Transport was very interesting, uh, up in Enfield in North London. Uh, without the paranormal, it's just a fascinating place to be and go to. So interesting. Um, I found it very interesting the whole evening, and then we decided to turn the lights off and do some glass work. Now, I'm not a big lover of glass work. I think there's too much uh, human error involved. But what needs to be stressed is, you know, here's people I've worked with for four years, nearly five years. I trust them implicitly. I know they're not going to fake anything. Why would they, for starters? I'm not a great fan of glass work, but the glass work we got there was just, well, it blew me away. It just was so precise. Uh, the glass whizzed around the table, went straight to the letters without us. We weren't pushing the glass. We had our fingers turned that way around. There was two, three at the most, just nails lightly on the glass, and it was directly spelling and answering every detail, dates and information, which was, that was quite impressive, I have to say, it really was. But yes, it was a very, very interesting evening. Um, you know, we always say, if we get nothing, we'll show nothing. Um, it still makes it interesting, and I think as far as I'm concerned, it's probably, you know, a most active night we've had for quite a while, so uh, no, very, very good. Our visit to Whiteworth Museum had been fascinating from all our points of view. Although nothing was captured on the DVR equipment or any EVP on the laptop, we experienced odd noises, whistles and apparent communication with possible spirits here. Although we could not find any information about either Rose King or Tom, the glass would have been very interesting, even to myself, having been critical of this kind of communication in the past. A trip to Whiteworth Museum is very much recommended, and as you walk around the fine displays of vintage vehicles, have a thought for who else may be joining you on your visit.